Autopots are a great gravity-fed design. They're the only automated self-watering system that doesn't rely on an electric pump. We're going to demonstrate installing a 15-liter Autopot kit. When you receive the kit, you'll have the 15-liter pot, the tray, the tray lid, the aqua valve, 4mm connecting pipe, and the copper Marix root control disc. We begin with the aqua valve. Check that the two yellow silicon bungs are correctly positioned. Then remove the threaded pipe collar and pass the pipe through it. Fit the pipe to the nozzle and wind the collar back into place. The collar should only be finger tight. The D-shaped space on the rear of the aqua valve locates onto the fixing point in the tray. Push it into place to secure the aqua valve. Now fit the tray lid. The copper Marix root trainer is placed copper side down in the 15 litre pot. You need to pour clay pebbles into the pot now. Two litres should do the trick, so they're five centimetres deep in the base of the pot. The pebbles are important as they prevent the soil from sitting directly in the water reservoir and ensure optimal hydration levels. Now, part fill the pot with soil so it's approximately 15 centimetres below the rim. And place your plant, then fill the pot so it's five centimetres under the rim place the pot in the tray. That's the basics of setting up an auto pot kit. Of course, we're going to connect our nutrient supply, as auto pots are a modular system, so you can run many units from one nutrient source. The systems are gravity fed, so it's very important that the nutrient tank is higher than the pots, at least 15 centimetres, and that you refill the reservoir when it's only got one third capacity left. We're going to hook up our pot to a 47 litre nutrient tank. With the tank, you'll receive a top hat grommet and a four millimetre filter. These are vital to getting a good seal. To plumb the two items together, work the top hat grommet into place. The brim of the hat should be inside the tank. Positioning the grommet can take a little patience. Then pass the four millimetre pipe through the grommet and place the four millimetre filter on the end of the pipe. Pull the pipe back through the grommet so filter and grommet are flush. Your single unit setup is good to go. Add nutrients as required to your specific crop. It's very simple to connect additional pots to the tank using four millimeter pipe junctions. Simply connect the two auto pots in line horizontally and then connect the vertical of the T-joint to your nutrient supply. The auto pot system scales up with remarkable ease. This 47 litre tank will run up to six pots. You can run up to 100 pots off the largest tank using 16 millimetre pipe fitted with air release valves and inline filters. Autopots one-pot systems and their XL and easy-to-grow range are a great choice to both begin and develop your hydroponic growing skills, helping you produce crops to be proud of. Please don't forget to subscribe and check back for more of our growing updates.